Good morning, folks. Coming to you from Avon Park, Florida. Avon Park Christian Church bringing you a morning devotion this morning. That's entitled, Conscious or Our Conscience. Did you get that? Conscious or Our Conscience. The devotion says, while managing the Washington Senators, Gil Hodges learned that four of his players had violated the team curfew. Calling the team together, he said to them, I know that four of you have violated the team curfew, and I know who you are. Now, I don't want to make this an issue, but you know the penalty for doing that. So I'm going to leave a box on my desk, and we'll drop the matter as you drop dollars into the box. I want to see $400 in that box in the morning. The next morning, there were eight $100 bills in that box, the story says. Our conscience is one of God's greatest gifts. If we live according to His Word, it enables us to distinguish right from wrong, good from bad, the sacred from the secular. Paul said that he took pains to have a clear conscience toward both God and man. We know that he lived his life in constant awareness that one day there would be a resurrection followed by a judgment of both the just and the unjust when he had become a Christian. He refused to be found doing anything that would dishonor his Lord and Savior. There are many instances we face today that are in the writings of Paul where he talked about his final accounting before God. He lived his life constantly reminding himself and others of that simple fact. Perhaps we would do well to do the same in our lives. Will you pray with me please? Heavenly Father, may we live life in light of eternity always realizing that you will judge us all on that day when Jesus returns. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Acts 24, 16, our scripture for the morning says, This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense toward God and men. God bless you and have a great day.